Fast Mario, the first Mario Flash hack ever made. The first Mario Flash 1 hack, not 2. This was made by Beglerback, and it is believed to be, have been released back in early 2013, or perhaps even before that, as its background is just as mysterious as the graphical choices in this. <laughs> as you can see, it looks pretty random. It takes elements from a lot of, of games, a lot of Mario games to, to, to begin with. For a long time, it wasn't known how these maps were, were made, until one user named SPF180 discovered that you could do this by using a re really rudimentary program called Soting SWF Decompiler. It basically worked this way. You replaced each bit and each image one by one with the title you, you wanted. It wasn't that hard, but it was incredibly tedious. It was thanks to this that we got tons and tons of hacks from 2013 onward, from Ace Edition, Arbit Edition, and so on. Just so many hacks that came from that. Eventually, a newer program named JPEX was discovered, and it was with that program that we got Super Mario Flash 1 version E and SMF2 version C, and then eventually Super Mario Flash 3, which is based on SMF2. Okay, that's a quick rundown on, on, on Mar Super Mario Flash hacking history. Let's uh, dive in and explore a little bit more about Fast Mario. Hmm. I can tell this, this will be a quite a, ri a long ride, so let's take a, a look at the editor and then maybe if you play a few levels in the in one player game. Let's pick Mario, sure. Ah oh, man, the memories. This takes me back. So yeah, let's um, hit create here. And yeah, this is this is, tells us how to select our background before, before building our level. And there, in SMF1, we, we can only add up to two maps per, per level. They were called zones, as you're gonna see here. So let's take a look at the um, selection of backgrounds we have at our disposal. So this is the, the overworld, cave, forest and castle. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you can't even can't even make out the snowflakes. This is awful. <laughs> a ghost house. So a second castle with a freaking boo power up from Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Love it. Uh, whatever. Let's pick the the forest theme and yes. As I told you, this is the the, the background for the second the bonus zone or the bonus map. Uh, whatever, let's let's pick whatever one. And this is level size, this was the default one for SMF1. And yeah, oh boy. What am I looking at? <laughs> okay, before um, piecing everything together in our little level, let, let's, uh, let me take you a tour through, uh, through the tile sets available. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure what these are supposed to be. <laughs> Do we have... Um, some generic blocks over here and some random textures that I, I don't even know where they come from. This looks like it came from a new Super Mario Bros. game. It's so weird. It's supposed to be the, the Grassland tile set, maybe? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's uh, the SMW fleet block, but it's, it's, it's green. <laughs> it's just recolored. And a bunch of 8-bit um, tiles and 16-bit uh, tiles thrown into the mix. <sighs> what the heck is this? Uh, yeah, the creator didn't even bother to replace the scenery castle tiles from the level land castle tiles and some more random tiles and, and this is supposed to be the castle tile set this is where, where the castle tile set where it used to be let's um, take a look at the objects menu you have the coins the pla all platforms behaviors and this is where the invisible block this is where you have to fetch these and then monsters <laughs> oh boy oh my god it's so hard to process Okay, ba Bowser wasn't changed at all, and then we have both Goombas. This guy comes from Yoshi's Island. What is this? This looks like a, a really poor costume from the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to, how to describe this. <laughs> and this was barely changed too. And Spiny just a, it was just recorded to blue. Same can be said for, for the Buzzy Beetle. Then the Green Koopas are Green Shy Guys. And the paratroopers are green shy guys with propellers in their heads. And <laughs> what is this? I'm I'm looking at 8-bit, 16-bit, and pre-rendered gra graphics. <laughs> what is this? And then Yammer Bro is just a 8-bit rendition from an NES game. The, the Pronal plants are just red, and Lakitu just got a, a recolor. And then the build, bu bullet build blaster is the same as the, the Yammer Bro, just a, the 8-bit counterpart. But the bullet builds themselves? <laughs> what are these? Where do they come from? 
Are these from like the like um New Super Mario Bros? I don't know. Okay, uh, then we have this little boo from Yoshi's Island. Then the Thwomp. It's obviously from Mario 64, but it's turning into the end. What is this? Is this supposed to be dry bones? <laughs> What is this guy from, man? Anyway, from an NES game? I, I don't know. Uh, I know as much as you do, to be honest. And Bowser Flames is just the ones from SMB1 NES. And I love how the fire bars spawn from a cloud. <laughs> it's pretty funny to me. I don't know. Then we have warps. I'll show you this in a second, how, we, how this used to work. Just to take you back to the past, you could only place tiles one by one. And also delete them one by one in said motion isn't this fun i mean yeah to be we didn't know any better back then these are supposed to be scenery i believe the trees then this random ass um underwater decoration when marvelous didn't have water back then there's only one tiling layer no layer separate layer for scenery no this does not exist here not in mario flash one at least two only had two super mario flash only had two layers then, but Mario Flash 1 simply had one to work with, and that's it. That's all you, you, you're stuck with. And yeah. This was definitely more challenging to make good looking levels, as you can plainly see. I was, uh, I'm just gonna make it something completely random here. Just a ton of crates laying around, and there's no rhyme or reason in, in these colors and, and the tiling choices, really. <sighs> Mario the Blocks is literally a pile of four. Grand, uh, round box. What, <laughs> what the hell is this? I do not understand this at all. Can okay, then this just square tiles and blocks or whatever you want to call them. Then a random ass wildflower and what else? What else we get here? Um, a random tree forest trunk. This should be scenery, I believe. I'll go with my gut instinct this time. Music's from all over, the, from every Mario game imaginable at, at the time. So yeah. Also, this, this one that's playing right now is from Mario Sunshine. <laughs> not from Mario RPG. Yeah. A lot of uh, retro games, SNES games, NES games, even Mario 64 games. Uh, Mario 64 from GameCube games. There's no rhyme or reason, like I said. It's same applies to tiles and to music here. Just uh, random bullshit go. The meme in, uh, um, incarnate in here. <laughs> yeah, as you, as you can see, there's no fo uh, specific theme going on. Just whatever, uh, uh, whatever that Bagler back thought and just felt like throwing to the game. And look at this font. What is this freaking font? You can't even see shit in here. You can't even make out what it's saying. <laughs> it's just a, a, a Comic Sans-like font, and then <laughs> yeah, this. <laughs> what is this? What? I mean, it was the first act, sure, but. At least have some presentation in it. Just yeah, it, it, it's definitely the one of the oddest of the bunch here. One of, one of the oddest acts that have been has been ever made. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go roll in with this classic SMB uh, theme. Yeah, this is just so not pleasant. Okay, I'll just have a, a random roll here. Then uh, try to finish the set the exit. Sure, let, let, and let's test out our brilliant level. I'm, I'm not gonna even bother to delete the rest of the rows there. Right? Yeah, look at look at us go. <laughs> what? He just lays there, <laughs> just resting. He's just piping and respawns. <laughs> what is happening here? I am just I am just as perplexed as you, <laughs> probably. And yeah. Oh, and the victory fanfare music is says the same. It did not change that at all. Okay, uh, this is where you have to come here uh, over to save and set your level exit right here. Set flag pole, then oh, um, bonus, that's our bonus zone. Just to switch uh, between zones over here, bonus zone. You're in your bonus zone. Click again. You we're back to your main zone. So yeah, uh, for the sake of um, showing you how the <laughs> the warps worked, I'm a uh, place a barrier over here a big mean barrier and then place a random warp uh, let's uh, yeah let's let's place a purple one for for, for the chits and giggles okay our pipe our pipe is, is nice and colorful and uh let's place another one over on this side uh, 
wrong area. Uh, I ought. No, this is this is fine. This is fine. This is good enough. Uh, okay. This is our exit wipe, and then. Okay. Here's how our warps worked. <laughs> so came up to warp points. Pick it. Pick it over here. Sure. Switch back. You switch back to the to the um, e between zones like this. Bonus zone. You could, you could press either, either be could be either a pipe or um or just a door entrance like this. Then what new warp are created? Go back. Then let's create another one. This green door for this time. So let's place here and uh, go back to our main map and place the warp here. So yeah, this is basically how parps worked in SMF1. <laughs> Okay, oh, we didn't set a starting point yet. So come here to save, set starting point, and bam. That's how, how th this worked. Okay, what is this? I think the music just stopped. Okay, uh, I c think the game crashed. <laughs> this sucks. Okay, we're back. Um, I have no idea what happened. It didn't let me uh, save my level. Didn't, it just it just locked everything from the game. I couldn't control it. It couldn't move around the map. Um, I had to redo uh, most of the level again, and it sucks, really. So I have to rebuild this, and uh, okay, I want to let's see and play our little build level. Yeah, look at that. This is peak right there. And oh, these aren't solid. What? <laughs> okay, that is new. Okay, let, let's see our warp in action. Back to our beautiful bonus zone. You have to hold space in order to enter doors in SMF1, by the way. And we're back out on the main map. Yeah, 10 slash 10 level, am I right? Yeah, this is all you had to work with. Uh, and by the way, this is a, a, it's not even Mario Flash 1 version ver E. This is version 3.0, which is even more limited. This is what we, what we had back in 2013. Yeah, this is, was our world back then. A glimpse to what you were all able to work with only. So be grateful that you have Mario Construct today. Let's go back and play some a little bit of the campaign game. What is this? This is okay. This is reminds me of a random '90s site. It's just it's so bad, <laughs> so so bad. Okay, onto level one. I like how the coins here are, are red instead of your typical yellow. <laughs> kind of. Will I get a random star if I collect eight of them? Probably not, because I already collected more than double of them, and... Actually, I, got, I did get a star back there, but that's uh, besides the point. <laughs> and, uh... Wow, okay. This is so freaking weird. Yeah, Fire Mario is purple instead of uh, uh, beige, beige and red, as we were accustomed to. Mm, yeah. Okay, that's level one. Level two. This is certainly a vibe. Oh, go, Mr. Star. Bye bye. What? What? Is, why is why is Mario looking like that? <laughs> yeah. By the way, this is the this sprites are from Mar Superstar Saga. <laughs> Amazing game, but why is sprites from there? I mean, I get it was probably to experiment with something. It, this was like the pioneering of Mario Flash hacking, so it, it gets the excuse. He gets a few points out of that. I forgot how tough this jump was for a second level. But it's manageable. Okay, that's level 2 completed. Level 3, here we go. Love how we're playing a, a hodgepodge of um, a, a 16 bit tiles, then uh, sprites from a Mario from a GBA game, and 8 bit music. It's like a freaking fever, fever dream at this point. As was a, a, a majority of um, Mario Flash hacks by then, but I don't know. Just this is—I know this is the first Mario Flash hack, but it's also one of the strangest for sure. Oh, I just lost a life there, Carol Z. <laughs> Gotta look all blah facing at the platform. That's the secret. Didn't even need it. Just a. Oh, when we're back to Smash Mario, <laughs> when we're small. <laughs> Truly the hack of all time. Level 4. This is the forest theme. The theme we, were, we picked for the our custom level back in the level editor. Uh, this is anything but forest from, to me. 
Mifa kind of feels like a min mineral wasteland or something. And, uh, Skittle minerals, if you will. Just, just, just random ass metal cubes dropping up in there. It's so awkward. And I slipped again. Okay, much better now. That is progress, for sure. Jump and jump. Okay. Okay, th that in the castle levels, you definitely can't read the what says it says in the, in the interface. You can't tell what, what how many coins you have, what's your score, if that even matters. And even though it's really hard to tell how, how many lives you have. If I didn't have memorized back then, I wouldn't have a clue how many how many I had until game over. What was he thinking? Okay, we're off to face Bowser. Or a fake woman in this case. And <laughs> take cut that, cut that. No, you can't duck jump in here. This is Mario Flash we're talking about. What are what are you? A Mario Construct to stand? This is for a game for men. Not for pansy asses. Oh wait. It's... Good luck being Bowser without the fire flower here, by the way. Wow, I can I wasn't able to beat this level. Amazing. <sighs> Here, let's see if Luigi can do it. Hmm. Luigi looks even more flabbergasted than Mario when he ducks. On oh, Fire Luigi, apparently it's yellow instead of purple. Okay, that's cool to know. This part is so fucking stupid. Okay, so Luigi can beat Bowser and Mario can't. But I didn't miss the jump this time. Hooray! Okay, let's... You can't even read the text! You can't even read what Toad is saying! <laughs> Barely! Our princess, our heck, our quality is in another castle. Burr, 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 burr. Okay, on to level six. Ah, this can't look good. I'm not even gonna bother with that flower, so. It's best to not fight battles that aren't your own. It, yeah. Fuck off, and yeah. Okay, level seven. Me. Yeah, amazing. Peak physics, if you ask me. This is what what peak Mario gameplay looked like. If you don't think so, then your your opinion is wrong. Simply, man. L L take and L opinion. It feels like I'm playing a, a mix of a bonus er, um, stage with with the cave one. Because of the, the main tellings chosen to replace the, tel the cave tile set here, and yeah. I shouldn't give this too much shot, I know. I, li I like to pick on these things, okay? It's part of me. Level 8. Ray. Ah, okay. Of course. Amazing level design, for sure. Ah. Floating Shy Guy. Floating Shy Guy. Level 9. Another forest level. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one with... Yeah, okay. Here I was thinking that this level wouldn't be so bad, but... Okay, he's, he's dead, okay. That's good. And screw the laws of physics. This is where it's at. This is big gameplay. Don't add me in. <sighs> okay, it's finally done. Okay, final level. Level 10. AKA Koopa Castle. The most infuriating 
shit show in, in this game. Well, you're gonna see why. This is li a little Timmy tier shit. Okay, so the main gimmick here is take the correct path and you move forward. If you mess up, you go back to the very beginning of the level. Really fair, isn't it? I think it is. I believe this was the second warp. It is. Okay. Man, I... I kind of forgot what, what was the, the correct path here. It's been so long. It's possible, but... I believe this is also the, also the second warp. Or the right warp. It is. Literally and literally the right warp. <laughs> uh, okay, this is where, where it fucks everything up. Yeah, I am don't remember which warp... I should take first. Yeah, it's not. <sighs> yeah, actually, at least it didn't send me back to the very beginning, so that's not so bad. So I'll go and try and take the um, third one. Okay, see, you can actually there is a little space you can nudge yourself between on the very edge, and you, you just don't get hit by the, the granite plant. Yeah, it's very quirky hitboxes, for sure. There's no timer in this level, it's just from the, the other file that Bag used. <laughs> there were, there's no such thing as timers here, don't worry. Let's try the third warp. Uh, no it's not, it, it sent me back to the very beginning. Ah, how fun! Queen Shepard, you, you were forced to wait here, that's what I don't like about this part. It's never unclear. They never respawn consistently. They're, it's always at different positions and angles. Oh, well, that was actually pretty sick. Uh, no, it's not. It's this is. Yeah, this is the the very first. Ah, uh, fucking hell! I mean, by the time you get there, you already forget which which pipes have you tried already. Just. That's how trolly this level design here is. And it's bullshit. Straight up bullshit. It's this part again. I hate it so much. Oh, it, it is actually the best strategy. Okay. I found it found that out by accident, but I don't care. We're moving forward. Second warp. Yeah, I'll go for the second warp again. Wait, boo, and, and it's genius level design skills okay here we go okay this looks different uh no it's it wasn't the right one but this didn't send me that far back so so i already tried the f oh this is the last one okay Last row. Uh, let's try the first one, I guess. Okay, right. I'm already. See, this is what I was talking about. You forget which ones you already accessed and which ones you didn't. Just straight up bullshit. Ah, shit. First one, second. Let's try the third one. No, it's not. Then which one is it? What the fuck? Okay, so here's what you have to do. You have to take this second warp. Which will send you back to this part again. And then take the first warp. Like so. Why does that work? I don't know. That's Poet Poo, not me. Okay, now we whoop Bowser's ass, at least. We burn his ass for the millionth time. Millionth million time, and let's see what, what the princess looks like. Yeah. Bagelberg didn't even bother replacing the princess, princess Peach right, uh, sprite. Well, uh, why would he? Peach wasn't even available in the editor, so... Kind of understandable why he didn't bother with, with either replacing Toad or Peach. But Bowser? I don't know. Maybe he could have um, replaced him with water or something. Yeah, you can barely uh, make out what Peach is saying. Hold C, yeah. C and H buttons is 
uh, is going back to the main menu, like right here, then when you hold CNH by clicking button, you get the cheats codes. Unlocks 50 lives for both when on the level editor and on the one player game, and unlock all levels in the campaign mode. Campaign mode. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much fast Mario. They're definitely uh, the, one of the weirdest hacks out there. I know there was XP Edition and the meme hacks, and yeah, those, uh, the, those are uh, already memes by themselves, so it's no wonder, but Fast Mario, just such a perplexing title, just you don't know what to expect with it. it, it it's an enigma within itself, just you don't know what to expect and whatever, what, what it actually encompasses. Maybe it was fast because it was the fir very first hack to come out to the community, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, maybe I'll make a few more videos like this, I don't know. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of content. So, uh, uh, this is where I'll take my leave. See you guys, bye bye.